guys! If this is the first time you are here, welcome. My name is Chiao Bei. Please consider subscribing and turn on a notification because incredible content is on the way. And follow me on Facebook for more content like this. Today, I'm going to be talking about essential verbs in daily use. Central Thai and Isan have the same concept. We share the same words like 50-50% words that I'm about to give you are the ones that we use differently and I'll give you some examples of each word so you can observe where we put in a sentence and again we don't say Khoi, Chao or Pom, Kun, Chan all the time during a conversation if you want to master how to use pronouns click on the right corner to check out my video so let's jump into the first word Wow, wow means to speak or to talk. Hien wow isan ma te sai. Hien wow isan ma te sai. Why did you learn how to speak isan? Zhao ku wow isan sa te. Ku wow isan sa te. So you can drop zhao. You speak isan very clearly. Sa is chat in Thai. So most of the word in Thai that pronounce with sh. Cho Chang Sao. In Isan, we pronounce it with the so so. So it's similar to the word zu in English. Sat and tat. Head to do or to make, we use the same word. That's it. Head. You can simply add any word after the word head to describe your action. Head. Ngan yu sai. Head ngan yu sai. Where do you work? So, ngan is ngan in Thai. Head ngan yu sai. Where do you work? Me koi head nail kin sap. Me koi head nail kin sap. My mom is good at cooking. Nail kin is a hand or food in Thai, like food in general. So, when we cooking, head nail kin. Nyang, nyang, to walk. So it sounds similar to yang, which is to grill in Thai. But nyang, even though in English description that I add, or even though in Thai, there is no way that it can be written in the exact sounds that we pronounce. So it's a local language, so we don't have our own alphabet. So I'll try to speak clearly so you can hear how it's pronounced. Alright. Nyang Kai Kao Wang Ya. Nyang Kai Kao Wang Ya. I walked past him just now. Wang Ya means just now. Nyang Ha Nati Ka Hot. Nyang ha na thi ka hot. It took only five minutes to walk there. Wow, pun, wow, pun, to gossip. Pun, pun has a similar pronunciation as floor in Thai, but that word is pun with high tone. But pun, wow, pun, pun. It also means. Foundation. The literal translation would be talk about someone's foundation behind their back. Wow, pun koi bo. Wow, pun koi bo. Are you gossiping about me? Pen yang kon thai ku mak wow pun. Pen yang kon thai ku mak wow pun. Why do Thai people like to gossip so much? This sentence. Pen yang kon thai ku mak wow pun. You can suddenly say it in the middle of a conversation when people speak in Isan and you don't know what they're talking about. And when you say this, they're gonna completely stop talking. They're gonna be shocked or surprised that how could you know? I don't mean how could you know that we're gossiping about you, but you're gonna surprise them that how do you know how to say this sentence? Mian, mian, to keep or to manage something, to keep something for a while, or to go and put something after you have finished using 
in the same place. It also means to clean or to manage a space. กินเขาแล้วกะเมียนเดอร์กินเขาแล้วกะเมียนเดอร์ When you have finished eating, please clean the dishes. It doesn't literally mean to wash the dishes. It means to keep the food that you have left to the fridge or somewhere in your house, or to clean the table. That's the meaning of "mian" in this context. Bung, bung, to look or to watch. I talked about this in the basic isan. Yak. ไปเบิ้งหนังน้ำกันบออยากไปเบิ้งหนังน้ำกันบอ Do you want to watch a film with me? น้ำกัน it's ด้วยกัน in Thai which means together but if you are staring we say แนมแนมแนมหยังแนมหยัง Why are you staring at me? จมจม To complain, sau jom, sau jom, stop complaining. Sau means to stop or to quit, but quitting a job we use a different word. Sau sup ya, sau sup ya, quit smoking. Jom bert mu lei, jom bert mu lei. You have been complaining all day. Bert mu, bert mu means all day. ย่องย่องย่อง means to compliment or admire someone. เพิ่นมากให้ย่องเพิ่นมากให้ย่อง She likes when people compliment her. This will be like for kids when you want them to do something and then you compliment them like Ah, you do a good job or something like that. But if you say เพิ่นมากให้ย่อง to adults, it's gonna sound sarcastic. So be careful and let's play that people won't get you wrong. เขาบอเคยหยองอีหยังคอยเลยเขาบอเคยหยองอีหยังเลย He never admires anything about me. มักมัก means to like. I have mentioned this word quite often, so I think you guys should remember this word so far. มักบักซีดาบอมักบักซีดาบอ Do you like gourds? บักซีดา it's ฝรั่ง in Thai, so that means it also means foreigners, just like ฝรั่ง when we call foreigners ฝรั่งมักบักซีดาบอ So in this sentence, it also means do you like foreigners? Like do you like white guys? บอมักกินเผ็ดบอมักกินเผ็ด I don't like spicy food. Ta to wait. Ta with low tone, not ta like in Thai. Ta ne krab. Ta ne cha. Please wait for me. Or you can say your name as pronoun. Ta thom ne krab. Ta mai khen ne krab. Ta bak don ka bo ma. Ta bak don ka bo ma. I waited for a long time, but she didn't show up. Paw, paw. To meet, this word has the same pronunciation as father in Thai. Paw. Why paw? Can I? Why paw? Can I? See you later. Or you can say, แล้วจังพ่อกันแล้วจังพ่อกันบอได้พ่อกันโดนเนาะบอได้พ่อกันโดนเนาะ Long time no see. Don means a long time. Earn, earn to call out, not call on the phone though. Just to call out or call someone's name. We say earn, earn. It's pronounced similar to the word earn in English, but earn with falling tone. And ni earn wa yang. อันนี้เอิญว่าหยัง What is this call? ไพเอิญคอยไพเอิญคอย Who is calling me? Some words I might not talk about because it sounds the same to Central Thai, just slightly different because of the accent, such as กินกินป
ไปไปมามา it just slightly different so it's kind of the same so this is why you're gonna sound like people from Isan if you speak Thai with the wrong tone I'm not saying that you have to straight about speak in the right damn tone I mean that how you're gonna sound like if you speak Thai or Isan with the wrong tone it doesn't really matter people will understand you anyway and we find it's cute Honestly, it's cute. It's fucking damn cute. Especially Falang speak Isan. I have never heard any Falang speak Isan actually, but I think it's kind of cute. And that's it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys like it. Tell this to your friends and your loved ones. I'll see you next time. Bye.